Ticket, yeticket.com, where you're going to find everything you need to know about films. And this day, we are talking about me and Orson Welles. Wow. And Orson Welles. Wow. Doesn't he look like him? Wow. Oh, oh, and yeah. also, I'm a control right, freak like he is. Right, <laughs> right down to the sunglasses. Huh? Right down to the sunglasses. Okay, so Orson Welles, the boy genius of the uh, 30s and 40s and uh, into the 50s, um, and uh, decided that he was going to create a theater company in the 30s yeah. called the Mercury Players, yeah. right? Yep. yep. And, and really so they, they started yeah. on stage and then they went to, they went to radio. Mm -hmm. And then they did that uh, broadcast about the, the the invasion of the world, uh, yeah, 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 War of the yeah, Worlds, and scared uh, half the population yes, in the right. United States. That, okay, so Orson oh, Welles yeah, was yeah. a... Well, I didn't. Well, did you? Well, I, I, well, I, I did, but I came back to life. Yeah, I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see what happened to the rest of the world. Orson, Especially in 2012. Orson, I want to see all that crashing down. I want to... All right, we're talking about me... And Orson, Orson Welles. Welles. Thank right, you. Thank okay, you. I'm glad thank you got that. <laughs> Okay, so this is about uh, his, uh, his trying to put together the, the first performance of the Mercury Players, and he had an incredible cast of characters, um, uh, actors to do it with. And, mm -hmm. uh, and it's how uh, Zach Efron, a young kid in, in uh, high, high school, school yep. uh, happens by and gets uh, picked up by the company, by Orson Welles, to play a major role in, in this production. Right. Um, and among the cast, uh, aside from Zac Efron, is uh, a love interest for him, Claire Danes. Yeah. And uh, Orson Welles okay. is played by Christian McKay. Oh, man. And uh, ben, I, even Ben Chaplin gets into the act as uh, George Zuko, I think his name yeah, was. I thought right. his Orson Welles, his portrayal of Ocean Welles was right down oh. to the money. Oh, yeah. I he mean, like he really studied him. He had his diction, he had his walk and everything. Now, I never met Orson Welles, but I understand that you did. I, I did, back in the 70s in London. So he's, a, for, he's a little for older guy. Time, but uh, did he remind you yes, of Orson Welles? He had him down. He had his accent, his actions, and everything. Now I, I only met him for a few minutes, but but I was in awe of the man. I've been in awe of the man most Me of my too. life. Uh, uh, his his films, uh, Citizen Kane, was I believe the the great American film for the yep. longest time. Okay, so they caught this period of time. The the 30s was really great. The costuming was phenomenal. The the sit sets everything was yep. great. But this performance by Orson Welles is electrifying. You can't take your eyes off of him when he's oh, on the not stage. At all. Um, how do you feel about? As a matter of fact, it was that electrifying that Zac Efron, who is supposed is the really the main star of the film, and plays the main character in the film. It was even took the shine off of his uh, starring role. Uh, I thought although this is the best I've seen Zac do, and I I did like him. In uh, when he when he did the Disney uh, Hollywood uh, the high school musicals, I and I did like him, but uh, in this particular oh, film, like the one where he did that switch where he was the, yeah. the you know, oh yeah that's seventeen yeah. again seventeen again yeah and and uh, and you know what I I thought that Zach did a good job of holding his character, but it was tough against uh, Christian McKay. Oh yeah, I don't think it was that tough. I think he did a very good job because my focus was on him also, and he really brought the picture together. And I thought he acted very well in this in this movie, and with the other people in there, with his character, and you know, and, and this is the year 1937. I thought he picked up the mannerism and the walk and and, and the talk too of that time too. So I thought Zac Efron did a very good job well, in well, this film. Well, you know film. why why he was so good. Because this film was a, basically supposed to be about Orson Welles, right. and when Orson Welles is on the screen, it's it's big, it's, it it's, it's sure intense. Was. But when he yeah. walks off the screen, unless the performance of the other people or the other person right. around there is great, then the movie goes downhill. Right. This movie never went downhill for a second. Zac Not Efron just held it right in there. Because when you weren't into Orson Welles, you were into the Zac Efron character. This is a really really fine movie. I really enjoyed this movie. It's more than fine to me. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah. So how many I'm giving it trees? four and a half. I, I give it four palm trees. I'm going to give it three and a half palm trees. Uh, I did like the movie, and I think it's above average uh, rating for the film, but it wasn't really, to me, the, a top, top film from this year. Well, that's, you really have to be interested in the topic. You have to be interested in theater. You have to be interested in that period of time. And, uh, those are and, all my interests. And Orson Welles. Right. And if you're not into those, then I don't know that you're going to enjoy this film, but I still have to rate this film like four stars because it, it, it is just really well made. A everything about it was sure crafted was. well. And, and, I and I found myself enjoying it. It's not, and it, it's no big blind blockbuster or anything, but it's really a, just a really good film. Okay, anyway, so uh, that's it from us, and a uh, little short guy here in the middle is uh, going <laughs> to sort of slide his way out and uh, remind you to uh, always uh, get to us at uh, Y.E. You always wanted to be Orson Welles. 
I did not want to be Orson Welles. Oh, yes, you did. No, there are other. I always wanted to be Stanley, I did. Stanley Kubrick, but still, you know okay. you can't have it. And I'm still working on that. <laughs> a anyway, so yeticket.com. That's your connection for all of the information you want on on movies and films, and that's why you're watching us here and continue to do it. Uh, every and uh, keep watching us every day and the day after. Ciao, babies.